Hello and welcome back. Let's take an example of RAM. Think of RAM like an arrangement of these lockers. They are numbered from 1 to 12. Our program is loaded in these locations in RAM. Now say our program is that we have to take the value from locker 3, add it to the value in locker 4 and store the combined value in locker 5. This would make sense if we know exactly our values are stored in locker 3 and 4. Most of the times that is not the case. When we execute a program, the instructions and data from the program are loaded into the RAM. Let's say our program requires 5 such locations. In a general system like Windows or Linux, it's the OS that decides the starting location. Usually in microcontrollers, it starts from the beginning of the RAM. Oftentimes, we do not know that our values would indeed be located in locker 3 and locker 4 because every program will have a lot of other instructions and information. In this example, we have just 12 lockers. Imagine tens of thousands of such lockers. How would we handle? Fortunately, C gives us a method called variables. Variables are nothing but a name that we give to the storage area that our programs can manipulate. So let's say in this example, we have location 3, we can give it a name, let's say number 1. To location 4, we can give a name number 2. So number 1 and number 2 are our variable names. Each variable in C has a specific type which determines the size and layout of the variable's memory. The range and the values that can be stored in that memory location. For example, uh, if a particular data type allows a maximum value of 255, we cannot store 256 in that location. The maximum value that we can store is 255. If we need to store values above 255, we'll have to go for another data type which allows that values. So there are some rules with naming variables. The variables must be composed of letters, digits, and a underscore character. It must begin with either a letter or an underscore. It cannot begin with a digit. Upper and lower cases both are allowed and both are distinct. Variable names cannot be any of the keywords. There are 32 keywords in C and we cannot use them as variable names. Uppercase and lowercase characters are distinct because C is case sensitive. Hence, if we have a variable called temperature with T in the lower case, a variable with the same name temperature with T in uppercase will be treated differently. Let's take an example. Say I want to add two numbers and display their value. I'll take two numbers of type integer. So to take integer type, I'll mention int. That is the type of the variable that I want to use. And I'm saying that I want to use an integer variable. And I give the name num1. and another variable num2 and then in the next statement I give them some values I say num1 equals to 4 and end it with a semicolon so here this is the destination and this is the source what you mention here will be stored here similarly I'll give some value to num2 num2 equals to 5 let's say now to add this number we can just add it by saying num1 plus num2 num1 plus num2 but I won't be able to see because I have to store it somewhere I'll store it in another variable let's say in sum and once this is calculated I will equate it to sum sum equals to num1 plus num2 and now I'll go ahead and print this value how do I print this with a printf statement printf I write the sum is now you see sum is integer so to display an integer we write a value percentage d and then after this double quotes we give a comma and write the name sum and we end it with a semicolon and go for build when I run it, I get the sum is 9. 5 plus 4 is 9. 
now let's say i want to display it as the sum of 4 and 5 is 9 so i'll write the sum of again i want to display an integer here so here i will write percentage d and of percentage d is percentage d now the first argument that i give here will be for this percentage d so i give here num1 num1 comma num2 comma sum now when i run it build build and run here the sum of 4 and 5 is 9 now num1 value is 4 it's getting displayed here num2 value is 5 it's getting displayed here and the sum is getting displayed here if i change these values like instead of num1 i write num2 instead of num2 i write num1 so let's see what happens i get the sum of 5 and 4 is 9 so we see that whatever is mentioned first will be displayed for the first argument and there is another thing what happens if we don't give any number let's say i'm not giving this let's see what's the sum will be in that case what individual values are there it gives us a warning that it is uninitialized but let's go ahead and see the values the sum of 8 and 73 is 81 from where did this value 8 and 73 come these values 8 and 73 are called garbage value in the ram when we gave the values 4 and 5 maybe it took these two locations it stored the value of 4 here and 5 here but then when we removed it the operating system might have assigned it these two locations 1 and 2 and there was the value 8 and 73 existing here that is why the program took these values 8 and 73 so to avoid this problem we always initialize the variables with some values so that is what we are doing here num1 equals to 4 and num2 equals to 5 but 4 and 5 are the values that we want in the program they are not initialization values so what we can do is we can give here num1 equals to 0 and num2 equals to 0 now even if we don't give them some value they are initialized to 0 so if we build the program and run it again it shows the sum of 0 and 0 is 0 it is because the garbage value which was there was replaced by 0 for num1 and same for num2 and then in the statement it added both the numbers and it's displaying it here now there are different ways how we can declare here we have written both the values in a single line we can also write it as num1 equals to 0 and int num2 equals to 0 we build it and we should see the same result there is one more thing a variable name cannot start with a digit so let's try to start it with a digit 1 num1 and we give a build it gives me an error here it gives me two errors so one is num1 undeclared in line 12 here we have mentioned num1 but nowhere in the program we have said what num1 is so it is saying that it does not know what num1 is and here it says invalid suffix num1 on integer constant so what it is seeing is it is seeing 1 as an integer and that num1 after that as suffix to the integer 1 that is why we cannot start a variable with a digit but we can start with an underscore so let's see if we get the same error no but we get another error saying that num1 is undeclared but i can replace it with underscore here let me give them the values 4 and 5 again and build and run we have the same thing 5 and 4 is 9 here we have given them the values 4 and 5 and we did the sum of it 
but the variables and the values can change so we can give them new values let's say underscore num1 equals to 50 underscore num sorry num2 equals to 100 and I do a sum again sum equals to underscore num1 plus num2 and I take the same printf statement again because it's the same values that I want to display build and run now the sum of 5 and 4 is 9 the sum of 150 is 150 I'll give a escape sequence slash n here so that we can see them in separate lines and we have it here so the initial values are 4 and 5 and we are displaying num and then num1 num2 is 5 we have 5 here num1 is 4 it is displayed here and num1 value is 4 displayed here similarly we change the value of num1 to 50 and num1 is the second argument and we have it here num2 is 100 we have it here and the sum of 150 is 150 that we have here so in the program we can change the value of variables as many times as we want these variables are used to store various status we can use them as flags we can use them to store a different sensor value anything that we want so variables are where we store the data and the data is ultimately getting stored in memory now you might ask if there is any way to display this sum of numbers directly instead of storing it in a variable well there is to see that let me disable these lines of sum what i want to do is this place where it says the sum of num2 and num1 is this here instead of sum i will mention num2 plus num1 and the same I'll do here or let me not do it let me show you something interesting sum is used uninitialized okay I'll run this and you see here the sum of 5 and 4 is 9 like we were getting when we had the statements sum equals to num1 plus num2 and here it is showing the sum of 150 is 81 why is it showing 81 if you remember the last time we executed the program where we had not initialized these values it was giving us num1 equals to 8 and num2 equals to 73 and the value was stored in sum so it is still referring to the same memory locations showing the values from that place it is just a coincidence that it is taking the same memory location but most of the times it can be any random location which the OS is allocating to it. Let me enable the statement again and then we'll see what the value comes. So I do build once again and run. So here again it shows me num2 plus num1 is 9 but here showed me the sum. The sum of 150 is 9. Why is this showing 9? The sum of 150 is definitely not 9. It should be 150. But we never calculated the value of sum even after changing the values of num1 and num2. So the sum was calculated at this point and after this there was no new calculation for sum. So it is still taking the values that was stored here during this statement's execution. Hi, I'm Vivek. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Do like, share and comment. They are huge motivations. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll definitely try to answer them. Do subscribe to the channel. There are new videos and tutorials coming up. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever there is a new video uploaded. Thanks and see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.